is up guys it's Gumwings here and today I'm reacting to another video so today's video is three disturbing car breakdown horror stories it's by Mr. Nightmare so I'm reacting to that also guys if you have any suggestions for my next reaction video put it down in the links no right type down the link and put it in the comment don't worry I'll react to it one day so yeah so the link to this video will be in the description down below. Also, remember to hit that like and subscribe button, you guys. And I know it's been a while since I uploaded my last video. Um, I've just been on a little break because I'm getting ready for March. March is the month that I upload the most. So like now you can see some consistency with my uploads. So yeah, I might just upload some um, old videos too, some re-uploads. So anyways, let's get on to the re reaction, you guys. Hit that notification button if you guys want to know when my next upload is. Alright? Let's begin right now. Alright. <coughs> Alright, let's start. One night driving home from work after a graveyard shift, I got a sudden urge to pee. Like, it was really bad. <laughs> Painfully bad. I was driving down a quiet parkway with no other cars, so I figured I'd pull to the side real quick and pee in the woods. I put my hazards on just in case that off chance that a cop rolled by. Alright. I, I got back in my truck and tried to start it. Instead, all I heard was the sickening sound of a car battery failing to start the engine. Oh. I tried at least five times before I gave up, not wanting to drain the battery anymore. I left my hazards on and stepped outside so I could be ready to wave someone down in hopes that they had jumper cables. When I did see headlights coming down the road, I went to the side of the road and started waving my arms. The car slowed down and went to pull over to the side behind my truck. As I started walking over to the car, the two front doors opened and two relatively big guys stepped out. Ooh. I stopped in my tracks and thanked them for stopping, immediately asking if they had jumper cables. They looked at each other, then back at me, and the driver said, nah. The other guy asked, you stuck? I said, yeah, my battery died. The driver said to give him a sec, he'd call one of his boys. I didn't exactly know how I felt about that. Yeah, way, same. I found the two a little off-putting. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I got gangster kind of vibes from them. Nah, unless you unless you look like you're part of a gang, after he got on the phone. I'll be like so I creeped out. Same. Like I'm stuck there too. I'll be actually I creeped out. My car. I couldn't help but feel I needed to call for my own help. Yeah, just call your brother. Just call I someone just in case. Me. Call someone just in case, so man. I my brother's phone a couple of times before he picked up. It was past midnight after all. Why is that past midnight? Okay, I'm not gonna I ask that. Up with my call, but I told him I was stuck. Oh, in he's lucky. I needed his help. He's lucky. He's I lucky. To bring jumper cables and to hurry up. Yeah, hurry up. Come here in the next 20 minutes. Yeah, be here. You have to take, take less than 20 minutes to come here, man. The driver opened his door and stepped out to look at me. And I called over that I had help on the way and it was cool. All he said was, I then, and got back to his car. <laughs> All right. That feeling of danger suddenly exited my body and I felt at ease. Now, yeah, but like, what if his boys are, what if his boys are coming right now? No, but imagine his boys are coming. I didn't hear their car pass by. I turned back and saw that their car was still there. Oh. It had been almost five minutes since I'd waved them off. I called my brother again. He said he just got in the car. I told him to floor it to me and have some weapons ready because I was pretty sure I was about to be jumped. Yeah. He said he had his baseball bat in the back seat. <laughs> just waiting there. He probably called his boys to help out. Luckily, my truck was only about Ooh. five minutes from our house. Bro, five yeah, minutes? Come in two minutes, man. I started to beat myself up for not just holding it in for another five minutes. Then <laughs> oh. this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> yeah. Finally, it totally wouldn't have happened, man. It would still break down if you think about the it. Approaching car slowed and pulled up behind the car that was behind me. Yo, hope that's your brother. Just hope that's your brother. Started waving my arms again. Hope that's your brother, when man. I saw two of the car doors open. I had a feeling it wasn't my brother. Oh, he's screwed. You're screwed. The driver in the first car got out and greeted his apparent goons. They all started gradually making their way over to my truck as they talked loud and cursed at each other. I guess it's worth noting there were no jumper cables in any of their hands. Ooh, I'm not a lucky jump. person at all, but when I saw the familiar headlights of my brother's Mustang zooming down the parkway towards us, 
I felt as if my luck had turned around for once. <laughs> he pulled off his car in front of the miracle. He came out with his baseball bat. Okay, why would you come out with a baseball bat? baseball bat from the back seat that he brought for me. He tossed it to me, and my brother, being the larger, more dominant one, said in a very loud, firm voice, we didn't want trouble, and it's best they moved along and let us go about our business. They all backed up a little when they saw our bats. Oh. One of the guys laughed. Another one said, we ain't ever said we want no trouble. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? The first <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? The passenger seat originally wasn't there anymore. Oh. I whispered to my brother to be wary. One of the men were missing. Bro, he's probably he hiding in the forest or something. His he, is his prob he probably is hiding somewhere. He fetched his cable he's probably hiding in your trunk right back. now. I kept watch of the three men who were lurking by <laughs> the yo, he's, yo, the other guys are probably hiding somewhere, man. We waited. My brother very softly called my name, and then Loki tilted his head in the direction of the woods. Uh -huh. I looked into the woods and saw the man who was originally in the passenger seat was now hiding in the woods, looking as if he was about to do some kind of sneak up attack. Bro, probably has a pocket knife going, going to like stab you in the back, yeah, or has like a revolver and then like just like pointing at you. Started. I got back out of the truck zoom, to zoom, literally guard zoom, my brother zoom. as he unplugged the cords for my battery oh. and put them back in his. Oh, I thought the car was finished. I thought he said the we car was finished. I'm preparing. And that was for him to throw it in reverse as soon as we got in our cars, and I'd step on it back onto the road. Bro, f just After zoom out. Our hoods, we took one last look at the men huddled by the third car, looking at us. Then we ran zoom. for our respective vehicles. Oh, you're not in your car yet? What? My brother floored it in reverse. Oh, he floored. We needed to give him enough space before I floored it as well. I don't care. I'm as gone. I, did, I heard the shattering of my back windshield as a brick landed on my dash. Then I heard the distinct sounds of gunshots, which continued to shatter the remainder of my back window. Just go, go, go! Don't care. They hit. Ducked down as low as I could get while still getting a view of the road. Just go, just go, just go. Managed to flee the scene unharmed, and they didn't chase us. We went straight home. Did they shoot your tire or something? He claimed he was 100% sure we just had an encounter with a local gang. Hey. They also told us not to take that specific parkway at night because it's not a safe road. I can only guess they wanted to rob me blind, and they didn't take too kindly to us waving bats in their faces. Yeah, why would you have a bat though, like originally? Like, have the bat just in case they bring out like a weapon now or something. So I sneaks out, grab the bat, boom. Oh wait. Oh, there's still ads on I've this. Done a Sorry guys. Camping in my life. Mostly solo camping out in the wilderness. Everyone who takes the hobby as seriously as me knows the potential dangers that come along with it. However, there was one thing that happened on a camping trip that I never anticipated. I was in my tent, which sat next to a small floor. Jason, we're gonna see this for a while. My campfire Sorry, was guys. its last breaths, and I was already laying in my sleeping bag trying to sleep. I started to hear something circling around my tent. At first, it started as big, heavy branches snapping in the distance. Then it turned to closer steps on the forest floor surrounding my tent. I ruled it out as being a bear or a larger animal because the footsteps didn't seem heavy enough. Plus, the fire would more often than not draw such animals away. To be safe, I still stayed inside the tent to refrain from making any noise. But the steps just kept circling around my tent. Finally, I called out, Hello? The steps didn't stop. Now I sat up, ready to take a quick look outside. I unzipped the tent and crawled outside. I still heard the footsteps, but now it seemed whatever was making the footsteps was being more cautious about moving around so loudly. Oh, it is a guy, it is a guy, that, it is a guy. Someone is stalking you. I think that's confirmed that someone's stalking you. I saw a light. Not just any kind of light, though. It was undeniably a phone screen. Ooh. It turned off as quickly as it came on. Ooh. Now I knew there was a person out there yeah. circling my campsite. He's probably gonna take I'd pictures of you while you're sleeping. He didn't respond to me, so that was a very bad sign. Yeah, he's probably gonna he's, he's probably Despite gonna like you know violate you he while you're sleeping. By a human before, and I wasn't comfortable there anymore. He, I don't think any of us would be comfortable. Sight, however, and I always bring it with me when I go camping. I felt it was an appropriate time to pull that out from my bag. I started to pack my things as fast as possible. 
I can't begin to explain how scared I was as I packed up my sleeping bag. I feel like all of us would have been scared. I found myself turning around every Wait, few seconds you're, to Wait, you're trying to take down your tent? I would just leave the tent. Maybe I wouldn't have been so scared if the footsteps around my camp didn't keep going. Mm. When everything was packed, I didn't try to hide the fact that I was sprinting back to my car, which wasn't parked far away. I threw my stuff in the back. It's bro, your car is bro broken down. Your car should be back. broken down, man. I turned the car off, and as I put it in drive, the car started to wobble and shake. It's and broke. I heard a terrible it scraping noise. It broke. I stopped the car. A low tire pressure oh. alert came on for all four tires, and I knew then that all someone, four tires had been slashed by someone. Someone, oh! I couldn't possibly move that car without destroying my wheels, so I sat there in a pitch black forest with the only oh. light being from my headlights. Turn off your headlights! Just turn off your headlights! Turn off your headlights! Hide in the dark. Watching from any possible. That's what I'm saying. Turn off your headlights. I sat there for a few seconds with my whole body shaking. Is your headlights still on? I finally grabbed my phone to call the police. At the same time, I looked in the rear view. Uh, yes, reception. And I saw someone what? standing at the trunk of my car. My oh. heart was in my stomach at this point. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't scream. I took a deep uh, breath. Uh, I think I would have been screaming. I would have been crying. Opened though. the door and stepped out with aggression. Oh. I aimed the gun at the person standing at the back of my car, who raised his hands in the air. I screamed at him as loud and aggressively as I could to get the fuck away from my car. I wasn't bluffing. I was ready to shoot him. He's probably gonna mess though. He backed away into the woods. And once I couldn't see him anymore, I got back in my car and called the police. I told them to come to the dirt parking area for the particular park I was camping in. They said a state trooper would be en route. I called my towing company in the meantime while waiting for the trooper to arrive. All while my body was still shaking and I was still cautiously checking my surroundings. I never appreciated seeing a police car more than when the trooper pulled into the small dirt lot with his lights on. And I finally felt safe to get out from my car. The tow truck came 20 minutes later. And my car was towed to a repair shop. I slept in my car overnight, and first thing in the morning, my tires were replaced. This never stopped me from continuing camping. I mean, I probably wouldn't be camping in, the, in that part of the woods. My old Buick used to have issues with the gas gauge. The gauge was off, so sometimes I'd fill the tank completely and the needle on the gauge would still hover around the E. And sometimes when the tank was running low, the needle would sit around F. The needle seemed to decide when it wanted to work or not. <laughs> well, one night after coming back Probably from the vacation, prepare your I car. driving for a week, I guess I had forgotten how long it had been since I'd filled up the tank. Because the car ran out of gas on some quiet road uh, in the town. Oh, that's that's. I didn't want to call my uh, girlfriend because she lived too far away, and I didn't want to be a bother. I got out from the car and looked around my surroundings. Call your towing company. Not much except for trees on either call side. Call your towing a company. Sitting at top of a hill to the right of my. I'd rather pay for for my so life that than was like. My only option to go for help. Thing. I went up the hill to the house and rang the bell. Why? It was 9.30, so it wasn't exactly too late to be ringing someone's bell in this kind of scenario. Okay, too late? Too late by like 8 o'clock. The moment it hits 8, in the house after all. If you're, it's already late to after ring someone's minute, doorbell. Like, everyone's already getting ready for bed or something. I told myself that would be it. After waiting another minute, I accepted defeat and walked away from the door. Watch someone open the door when you're leaving. I little walkway. I heard a weird noise that seemed to be coming from the side of the house. Like the oh. moaning and distressed breathing of someone in pain. Go, just go, run, go, I just run, run, run. Bushes. Quite frankly, I didn't feel right sneaking over there. Yes. I continued back down the driveway. Just go. I did take a look back at the house and noticed a light upstairs was on now that wasn't on before. Go, I go. Someone standing at the window. Run, run for it. Head and shoulders. Run, I stared for run. A moment. Why are you I standing still? Maybe come to the door. They didn't move, and it got weird. Just go. My car. Just go. I leaned on my car door and called AAA, which was my roadside assistance company. Okay, you're good. You're they good. You're good. Deliver gas to me within half an hour. You're good. It was too hot out to sit in my car, so I stayed outside. All right. I waited around, texting people, checking Instagram, and pacing back and forth. And I heard a deep voice go, "Excuse me." My head shot up. Bro, I've been, like, there was scared. a guy standing by the curb near the driveway to the house. He was wearing a hat really low and tilted his head down, hiding a lot of his face. Yeah, you know something's up. There was a problem. I said I ran out of gas right here. 
All he said in response was, oh. <coughs> he turned and started walking back up the hill. Pretty soon, he disappeared behind the bushes on his property. He's probably getting he something. He's a very creepy man based on that short interaction. He's probably going to, like, he's probably getting, like, a gun or, like, a machete. I should go see what that sound I was hearing behind the bushes was. Don't! Kind of wanted to what be, uh, kind of advice I is that? The next to the guy's house, up the hill, and went to the side of the house where I heard the noises. What kind of advice is that? Hey guys, I'll be back. Sorry about that guy, someone was calling me. Alright, let's continue with um, the video. And then stopped to listen. There were the moans and breathing again. They were coming from a window. Oh, someone's stalking you. Someone's stalking, stop, stalking you, man. Was down, so I couldn't. The sounds were concerning, though. I lightly tapped on the window and said, Is everything okay? Run! I'm running! I Run! I say in a faint, weak voice, Help. Run! I stood there thinking about what to do. When all of a sudden, the blind kinked open, and I saw a face looking back at me through the window. I couldn't tell for sure, but it looked like the creepy man who came outside. The kink in the blind dropped back down shut, and then the window dropped closed so I couldn't hear anything else. I didn't care, though. I ran back down to my car, got in, and locked the door. I waited until the AAA truck came, and when they filled my tank, I didn't say a word about what I just witnessed. What? I just went home and tried to get some sleep that night. What? I never wanted to see or think about that house again. Are you insane? Was that guy insane? Like, oh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to um, inform anything. Like, what? I would tell the guy. I'll be just like some. I would tell. I would snitch. I would snitch. Just to like, in case I get stuck there again. Because you don't know. You could get stuck there a second time. So, so I would just snitch. Be like, there's something wrong with that house. Like, if the guy came, if, like the tow truck came. Like the, the driver just came out and like started talking to me, I'll be like, Hey, you know there's something wrong with that house? Like what? Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and well, peace out!